Good afternoon. My name is Aldis and in this short video I will show you how to install EFVM on VMware workstation using ISO CD. So go to our site EF-NG.net, go to downloads and EFNG and using one link get the ISO image. I already downloaded it, let's start to install a VM machine. So open your uh, So my, my VMware is here and create a new virtual machine. I'm choosing typical and install operating system later. The big mistake, the people are loading ISO image directly here. It is not good. So I will install operating system later. This is correct choice. Next, it is a Linux machine and it is Ubuntu 64 bits. Okay, Linux 64. Next machine, it will be if com edition. Next and assign as you need. So that's why I prefer to install actually from ISO image because initially you can give as much as you need. So it's my case I'm giving let's say 25 gigabytes, yes, but recommended for a full if if you need to work with a full image full images I recommend to give 300 or more so recommendation is not go for one high and nice hard drive so give more I am for testing purposes I'm showing you it will give the only 20 single single disk a single file store a single file next and customize hardware memory give as much as you can in my case, it is it is a desktop PC, and I can afford eight gigabits. And a laptops could be a four or six or something like that. But on a servers, of course, it will be higher and more. CPUs, how to check it? So how much CPU I have? So at the task manager, if you are going to performance, you can see how much cores you have and logical processors. So this means that I can give eight in a laptops. It will be one four four, for example, or one two four but i can give one to eight so i'm i'm going to assign eight cpus and one core in laptop users will be four and one so i will leave four and one and mandatory that you are checking the virtualized virtualized intel vtx ept this is mandatory i'm saying again it is absolutely necessary to be checked next point network adapter for laptop users it can be not adapter not adapter is good because it is not changing IP address when you are moving between wireless networks. So I am leaving a not adapter here. Okay. And the last thing what, what left, so the load uh, CD. So I'm going to CD and connect it on power on and use ISO image here. So I'm browsing and finding where is my downloaded ISO. Okay. So, memory done, processors done, EPT done, network adapter done, CD done. We are ready to start VM. Finish. <clears throat> VM machine is created and I'm going to power on this machine. <clears throat> All prompts which, which will appear I will tell you and will stop and pause video and will show you it's uh, what I'm doing. So, I'm powering on the machine. So my, my language was, so this can be closed. So my language is English. So install EVM, I'm choosing that option. So next step, English again, United States is all right. going to, to pause when it will prompt I'll be back it 
So I'm back and it is asking if ng which is hostname and I'm saying it's a pressing a tab and saying continue. Correct. If your NAT adapter is configured with DHCP, that's, this means that IP address is assigned automatically and it is automatically configuring a clock. So it is checking and, it's, uh, and you can see that your plandon is here. It's my place yeah, it's, and uh, I'm saying yes, yeah, enter. If DHCP is wrong or something not configured right and your IP address is not gotten from DHCP, there is a way how to configure it manually. <clears throat> so, going to pause again. So, it's asking to uh, configure a proxy. We have no proxy, and I'm saying continue. Here you can choose, uh, please choose install security updates automatically, arrow down and enter. And it is saying the finish installation, installation is complete. It is not complete and it is the biggest mistake if you will go and remove CD-ROM. It is only phase one is completed now and after reboot it will start to install EVE. This first stage it is only Ubuntu server installation is finished but not EVE. So do not remove CD-ROM as he is saying and advising here. So I'm going to recheck again if my CD is, is assigned and ready for use. You can see that it is unconnected. I'm saying to connect this CD again yeah, and because after reboot it will start to check and install EVE. Now I'm ready to press continue. After reboot, it will start automatically install if this is a second second phase of installation from ISO CD. So it started to install, and I'm going to pause. If it will prompt something, I will be back and will show you. So installation is completed and uh, you can uh, see that prompt appears and then with the HCP IP address. So we are going to configure now static IP address. So I'm going to uh, log in root and if prompt period. So I'm typing password, which is if repeating again, if and uh, hostname I'm leaving as it is, if ng domain you can change per your needs or per your wish and arrow down spacebar to check a static and let's go to configure as as we know my network is 192.168.255 dot let's say I will give you IP address 45 this is my not not adapter network so I'm giving the IP address 45 45 which will be static for Eve. Enter mask is 24 um, 24 and the gateway. Gateway guys is dot two not dot one. Dot one is your native native PC where is a VMware workstation installed. So your native PC has IP address dot one but not adapter has IP address dot two if you not change the default settings of VMware VMR installation. So two five five dot two not one dot two is correct. DNS IP is the same dot two and some open DNS server IP like all eight. OK, NTP is fine. Direct connection in my case, if you need to uh, configure a proxy, so it's usually incorporate users, but direct connection is here. Enter. It is going to first reboot. I'm going to pause. So my VM is booted and let's check if everything is fine. So root and if. 
for future for future use you have to be sure that you can ping and you can reach internet with DNS IP. So I'm going to ping uh, www.google.com. You can see it's fine. And two last things left. So after installation from ISO, run apt get update. Let's wait. That should be everything all right. <clears throat> going to pause. If it will prompt something, I will show you. Update is done, and the second command which I will run will be apt get upgrade. This is second command which you need for upgrade to get the newest versions of Eve. So I'm going enter. The first prompt is saying yes or no. I'm answering yes. I'm going to pause. Next prompt appeared. Just hit enter here. Just enter. Nothing else. Just enter. Installation complete. So I'm going to reboot VM. So actually shut down. Shut down dash uh, hyphen hash now. And after shutdown, I will remove CD ROM from. Uh, CD-ROM, so I'm going to edit machine settings and I'm saying that CD-ROM is not in use anymore. Okay, and we can start machine and we can test it, how it works. It's booting. So, my machine is booted and we can check again, root if, if ping works, ping www.google.com. So everything is fine. And let's check. Uh, 192.168.255.45. Yeah, have a go. Admin and password is if. Sign in. So, thank you very much and happy lobbying.